My grandma, who lives alone in the countryside, called me. She sounded like she's afraid of something. This place is always so desolate and lonely. Could it be a friend of grandma's? At this time, who could it be? Um, hi. Mm -hmm. What the? It's me, Kanako. Grandma, please open the door. Who's that? Grandma, please shut the door off. This is the first time I'm telling you about this. Kanako, you must be unable to sleep as well. So Grandma will tell you about things that when I was a kid. Sit down and listen carefully. During those times, this village has a really weird custom. And the weird custom was the way funeral ceremonies were conducted. Although the people here passed away one by one, this village used to be a very lively. My mother and I were looking from the bridge. Osoto's uncle came and remember to take a good look. The oldest funeral I could remember is Kingora's one. Hey, Kingora is coming! Shh. What's wrong, Grandma? I'll leave it to you, Kanako. Grandma! Grandma! Huh? Is, is it was a dream? It's already four. I have to hurry or else it will get dark before I reach grandma's house. What a weird dream it was. Let's see what now. This sucks. It is exactly like the dream. No way. Hello. Your grandma passed away just a while ago. What? What are you talking about? Who was that person? Where are you, grandma? Grandma! Osode is coming. Osode. No! Grandma! But Osoda is already quite old. How can she get married? Oh. I saw Grandma looking at me while I, I think. No! <laughs>